Let's take a look at some torque related simple machines. Here I have a lever with a fulcrum right here. I'm placing a one kilogram weight on the right side of the stick. In order for me to lift this heavy weight, I only have to exert a small force on the left side at this location. This is a 100 gram or 0.1 kilogram weight. And this is enough to lift the one kilogram on the other side. Because what I have to overcome is the clockwise torque produced by the one kilogram heavy weight. Torque equals to force times the lever arm. If my applied force has a much larger lever arm than the resistant force's lever arm, I can apply a much smaller force than the resistant force and still get the job done. Because in order to produce the same amount of torque, the larger the lever arm, the smaller the force required. Perhaps the most famous quote about levers is the one by Archimedes. Archimedes said in the 3rd century BC, give me a place to stand and the lever long enough and I will move the world. Of course, we can use a simple machine like a lever to save force, but that means that we will have to travel longer distance because we can never save work. Work is force times displacement times the cosine the angle between the two. The large resistant force here times the small distance traveled here has to equal to the small applied force times the large distance traveled because the energy has to be conserved. Now let's look at some more simple machines. A hammer can be used to pull a nail out. The lever arm for my applied force is larger than the lever arm for the resistant force from here to the axle. So I get to save force. But of course, this means that I have to travel longer distance than the resistant force. For this pair of pliers, I can use a small force to overcome a large resistant force because of the difference in lever arms. Short lever arm for resistant force and large lever arm for the applied force. A screwdriver also helps us save force. The applied force has a large lever arm, the radius of the handle, while the resistant force has a smaller lever arm, the radius of this end. And if I use a wrench, I can apply a large force easily because of the convenient handle. And I can overcome a much larger resistant force here because the lever arm for the applied force is much larger than the lever arm for the resistant force here. This is also the reason why doorknobs are always placed at the far end of the door from the door hinges. With the large lever arm from here to the hinges, it's much easier to open and close the door than if the knob is placed here or there. 